Good evening. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America and they. Within the past couple of days, we have been made aware of a fact that might seem a bit problematic, that might cause us to enjoy a degree of pause. It appears that Donald Trump, during the course of his trial, during the course of his jury selection, voir dire, and the like, may have, it is reported, may have nodded off. I wouldn't say fallen asleep. I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't suggest waxing somnolent or in some type of weird soporific stupor, some torpid moment of unconsciousness. Oh, no, 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 no. But still, a bit of a nodding off. Heads not thudding onto the desk, no trail of saliva or some web of goo emanating, exuding, extravasating from his mouth. No, 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 no. But still, there is no use, or no, excuse me, no, no excuse for any moment of lapsed attention. There is no excuse whatsoever for Donald Trump to in any way veer from this it, arguably important moment. And for us to dismiss it as, well, you know, it, he travels a lot. Uh, look, look, that may be fine unless and until you understand that the election is 200 days away. And that will prove most interesting. But understand the person that he is up against. Understand this powerhouse. Understand a man who exudes a vitality, a vivacity, a steely determination, and a sense of vigor, never rigor. A man who I, I think poses a serious, serious threat to anybody thinking of taking him on, and a man who basically constantly sends out this beacon, this warning to the world, don't tread on me, Gadsden-esque, don't tread on us. This man, this man that I want you, and I, I, I want you to pay very, very close attention to this, this man right here, this man, look, watch, watch. Watch this. I'm going to point a few things out to you, and I want you to be aware of this, and I want you to watch. And I want you to watch specifically the signals, and they may be lost. You might watch them and think, wait a minute, did he, It did, is, is that a bit of a flub? Oh, no, 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 no. Sandbag. The sandbagger. Sun Tzu one time said something about war, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, let's start off with this. This was an extremely critical uh, moment at the White House. General Lloyd Austin, Secretary of Defense, who, by the way, was AWOL for a period of time for no particular reason. Nobody even knew where he was, and nobody even thought to ask. Remember that? Was, he was just gone. Just, just kind of pulled a Kate Middleton on us. Kind of a D.B. Cooper. Just kind of took off, and uh, somebody said, hey, anybody seen Lloyd? No. Oh, and then, Here he is. But I hope he's back and I hope he's in fighting trim and hale and hearty and all the best to you, sir. God knows we need you now. Now listen as he introduces the president. Listen to his words and watch very carefully the image, the message through the countenance, the mean, the, the, the affect of this great leader. Uh, to keep America safe in the 21st century. Uh, thanks. Now watch. He's looking down, ready for that moment, for that Clint Eastwood moment, the stare, the leer. Oh, wait a minute. You probably missed this. I'm so sorry for that. I want you to listen to him. Every word, every word, every phrase, carefully carefully constructed I'm out of questions I'm out of questions or 
something about that. It doesn't matter. Does it really matter? Not really. Not really. Comprehension. Comprehension, I think, is 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 there's far too much pay to the notion of comprehension and knowing what somebody says. It's not what he says, but it's what he means. And he means business. I better not start the questions. I'll get in trouble. I better not start the questions. I'll get in trouble because if I were to let the world know my intention, if I were to indicate in any way to the world how how a a a dominant force I am and remain, that could in and of itself cause a tremendous shuddering among friend and foe alike. Oh, he knows what he's doing. What's your message for Super Tuesday voters? Everyone, please move this way. Super Tuesday, say, do you have a message for voters? Thanks. Come on. You see that? The look. The look. Contemplative. Let's look at this. The look. The look. The this 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 in he's he's like almost a, a, a computer, like this this quantum computer trying his best to 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 sift through all of the possibilities, the permutations, the the the, the chances. Afforded and accorded. What's your message for the look. The look, the leer. The glance. Determination. Close the book. Just look. Grab the mic again. I better not. I don't know if the world is ready for me. Now watch this. To the left of the screen will be two people. I don't know who they are or why they're there. Does it really matter? No. But her face says it all. What may appear to you to be fright, embarrassment, dread, shock. Oh, no, 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 no. She is in awe. Dare I say stupefaction. This is what this man is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to keep you know, I, I, I've got to century. tell you something, uh, and I want you to understand that, as you know, I am a big fan of President Trump and will vote for him for the aforementioned reasons and the vermin cited, as I've said on a number of times. But if you play this man loose, if you don't recognize the absolute awesome power, this, this, he's like a, he's like a, he's like a javelin thrower ready to uncoil this. He, 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 he guards himself. He reserves, preserves this power. If you miss this, if you dare to not understand what we're talking about, then you, like I believe the rest of the world, are in for the shock of your life. President Trump, I say to you, and I am a stalwart. I am an acolyte of the first stripe. Sir, you have your work cut out for you. With 200 and days and change available. I think we know what we're going to have to do. I'd love to see what you think, my friends. Please subscribe to my uh, channel. I hope I've in no way dissuaded you. I hope I've in no way uh, caused any kind of fear or trepidation or hesitancy on your part as to President Trump's ability and wherewithal to lead us again. I have no doubt, but I want him to understand, do not take this man for granted. Now, dear friends, I ask you, I beseech, implore, entreat, and importune you to comment, comment as you see fit.